I'm Don Knox, I'm the Programme Leader for Audio Technology with Multimedia Degree. It's a 2 plus 2, which means you come into the third year with your HND in sound production. And the degree is specifically designed uh, to broaden your horizons away from music production and introduce you to the things that we think is important to you as an audio professional in the 21st century. And that means things like moving away from using software to designing and developing your own software. So that means introducing you to things like uh, programming and creating your own audio tools and software and interfaces, uh, to game sound design and acoustics and project work. And uh, the things that we think can lead you into uh, related audio jobs and move you away from that music production paradigm. Hi, I'm Cameron Stevenson. I'm a, currently a fourth year student in BSE Audio Technology with Electronics. Um, Today I'm going to talk to you about the module Audio Processing and Effects. This module is basically based on a software called Max MSP. In this software you can basically create synthesizers, brand, uh, such as the Minimoog, which is actually one of the coursework you'll sit. What you do is, over the 12 weeks you'll learn all about granular synthesis, additive, subtractive synthesis and modulation, and you'll learn to make effects such as delay, reverb, and several types of filter. Um, what you'll go on to do is the coursework which is build a Minimoog. Now this is an analog synthesizer which will cost you several, several hundred pounds but you can do it for absolutely free on the software Max MSP. Hi my name is Jamie Stewart and uh, I'm currently studying BSc Audio Technology with Multimedia. Uh, the module Advanced Audio Processing um, is to do with Java. Uh, what you can do is it links really well and nicely with Max MSP. In this um, software, you can design your own Java classes um, and build in your own Max objects. You can then implement these into Max MSP and build your own unique interactive software. Using Max MSP as a high level programming graphical software, um, it's nice to get inside the objects and learn about the code in which these objects are used. Um, designing your own, you can design your own objects, and it's a nice progression from using Max to Java. For my honours project, I have built a gesture controlled Max patch. Um, this match patch can track your gesture based on the colours and the movement you make. Um, these gestures and controls are then attached to parameters for the music, music for a DJ application. Um, this application has several parameters such as volume, um, low pass filters and speed. All in all, the experience I've learned using Max MSP over the previous modules has been really beneficial. Um, it's really helped in the success of my honours project and me building my DJ application.